everybody how you doing how you feeling and how you living so the Oscars was last night right and the red carpet there were some good things there were some bad things so this video I'm telling you what I like what I didn't like my hits and my misses with the fashion red carpet this list is very long so get you a bag of popcorn so starting off we have Stephen James so Stephen James he wore this I think it's a suede tux with these white boots and white undershirt. I don't know. I really like it. Like, it's different. What I, I kind of don't like the little deep V-cut thing. I don't know. It's giving you, like, a classic 60s, 70s tux or whatever. I don't know. But I like the tux. I like the fabric. But if I didn't like one thing, I like I said, I just don't like that deep V. But I'm not going to say it's a miss. It's a hit. I like it. So, it's a hit. For him, for a guy. That's a nice style for a guy. Next, we have Jennifer Lopez. Now, Jennifer Lopez, I feel like shuts down the carpet with any carpet. Jennifer Lopez, now she's somebody, like I've been saying with other people, she cannot do no wrong. She, I feel like she's the red carpet queen. She's one of those. It's a lot of them, but she's one of those. Every red carpet she goes on, she shuts it down. I feel like she can wear anything. And this dress that she's wearing is... It's really sparkly, giving you um, showgirl vibes, I feel like, like because that's somebody who she is. She's a showgirl. Um, I love it. She, I, it's obvious that she takes time with everything she wears when she hits the red carpet. And it tells, because I love her. I always, now she is somebody that I always look forward to seeing on the red carpet. I love Jennifer Lopez's look. Okay, we also got Cicely Tyson. Cicely Tyson, she's like, what, 98? 95 I don't know but she shut it down I don't care what you say Cicely Tyson did that thing with that dress and then the hat and then the ruffles around the feathers she's screaming out superstar and that's what she is she deserves many Oscars all the time that's a hit Jennifer Lopez definitely a hit Lady Gaga okay so I love Lady Gaga as a person I'm talking like I know her for real but I love Lady Gaga but I don't like this dress um I like I don't know. I just I don't like the hips sticking out on the side, and I don't like that fabric at the end on the bottom. But I like the the chest up. The, her her face looks good. The hair looks good. I like the gloves. It's giving you like vintage um, Hollywood. But Lady Gaga, I love you. I love you so much. But I'm going to have to say a miss. I don't really like this. No, I don't think I do. No. No, I don't really like it, but Lady Gaga, love you, but I don't, not really fond of this, so personally, I'm going to have to say miss. Okay, next we have Laura Harrier. I don't know how to pronounce her name. I don't know how I feel about this. I think, I feel like this is giving me like 90s um, Oscars gown. I don't. I don't really feel it. I feel like since she's young, she should have something like more young and playful. I guess the top is like more young and playful, but the dress, I don't think, I feel like the skirt is not very like tailored to her. It's not ugly. It's just like, maybe they could have cinched it up, made it a little tighter or, I don't know. I like the top and I can't tell if it's a two piece or if it's just a belt stitched around it, but I'm not going to say it's not, I'm not going to say it's a miss. I'm not going to say it's a hit. But, I don't know. It's okay. I mean, I've seen worse. Okay, Ashley Graham. I love Ashley Graham. I feel like she cannot do no wrong and she knows how to dress to her body type. And she, everything she wears, it always shows her curves. That's what I love about her because she's not scared to wear anything. She loves to take risks. I love her. She never does any wrong on the red carpet. This is a hit. I love this. Always. Ashley Graham, she knows how to dress a red carpet. Next, Megan Good. Now, I was reading some reviews about Megan Good's dress, and people were saying that they didn't like it. Um, I like it. And, and somebody had the nerve to comment something about her eyebrows. Her eyebrows are, that's the way they are. They're made like that. You can't take off your eyebrows and put on some new ones. Um, I like this. It's a, granted, it's a lot of fabric that she has on, and um, she looks, she, I bet, well, she's a petite girl. She seems like I've never seen her in person. But I like it. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I like it. It's just a lot of fabric. But I feel like she's wearing it right. And she always wears like revealing stuff and flirtatious stuff. So I like it for her. 
There we go. Like it for her. Okay, my next one is Amanda Steinberg from The Hate You Give. I really like her, this one. It's giving me like vintage vibes because it got the chandeliers. Like, what's them um, from the 1920s or whatever? Like the Great Gatsby era. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this. I really like this dress. Um, I can't tell if this is a two piece either, but I like it for her. It's playful, flirty, it's long, it's revealing like what she wants to reveal her arms. It's not revealing too much. I like it. And I like the brace. Nice touch. She's not doing too much. She's not she doesn't have on a lot of jewelry because I feel like if she would have had on a lot of jewelry, it would have took away from the rest of what she has going on. So I like this. This is a hit for me. Jennifer Lewis. Okay. Jennifer Lewis. I feel like even if I don't like it or do like it, she cannot do no wrong. She wears whatever she wants and that's what I like about her. Everything she wears, she makes it look confident to her and she makes a statement about it. So I love this for her. Jennifer Lewis, she can do no wrong. This is a hit for me. She looks like an Oscar. She looks like she doesn't care. She really doesn't. That's what I like her so much. So Jennifer Lewis, that's a hit. I love her. Now, Billy Porter. Billy Porter, apparently he was the first one on the carpet. And I feel like he shut it down. He wore a tux. <laughs> My voice got deep. But he wore a tux dress. I don't know what this is. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I love it. I can tell you that. Because he, if you've seen him on other red carpets, you can tell that he takes risks with everything he does. He cannot do no wrong. I love this. And he's not as afraid to wear what he wants to wear. I love, I wouldn't wear it, but I love this. Because you wouldn't have suspected a guy to wear something like that. So that's a hit for me. I love it. Billy Porter did that. Next, Spike Lee. First of all, why, was, why is this the first time Spike Lee has been nominated for an Oscar? Spike Lee has made so many iconic roles and made so many iconic movies that this shouldn't have been the first time he's been nominated for an Oscar. So granted, like Spike Lee said, he doesn't need an Oscar to validate what he has done or whatever. So I love this for Spike Lee because he doesn't care. He's playing with it and he's paying homage to... Um, Prince, which is why he has on purple, like he said, and then he has on custom gold Jordans on his feet. Jay's on his feet. He cannot do no wrong. I like Spike Lee. That's a hit for me. Um, Linda Cardellini. I don't, I feel like this is way too much fabric on her. Like, it just seems like a mariachi band. Marty, Maricha. I don't know, mariachi, whatever, the shaking, whatever. I don't know what they're called. I forgot, but... I don't like this on her. Maybe if it was, it just feels like, it just seems like a lot of fabric was put together and then put it on her. And they just threw it on her. So I don't like it. That's a miss for me. And it's giving me like Easter Sunday dress, little church girl vibes. This is not, I don't feel like this is for the Oscars. Maybe for the Met Gala where you can dress in a costume or whatever you want. But Oscars, no, I don't like that. Octavia Spencer is next. I love her dress. It fits her perfectly. She always wears stuff fit to her body type, like Ashley Graham, I said. Um, and she's giving you shoulder. I love her so much. She is a legend. Um, this dress is fit for her. I feel like it was tailored just for her. I'm pretty sure it was custom made just for her. I love her. That's a hit. She does no wrong. Regina King. Now, this dress, I love. I would have wanted her to go, like, more color or whatever, or more extravagant or something for the Oscars, being that... Um, I feel like she always wears like chill, laid back stuff, but she always wears it good. I like this, but like I said, I just would have wanted her to put on like a splash of color or like maybe a belt or something. She doesn't, I don't think she has on jewelry either. Let me see. No, she has on earrings. Oh, and a bracelet, but I like this for her. It's flirty. It's good for her. This white gown. It's a hit for me, but next time I just want like a little more color. Okay, Aquafina. I don't like this at all. Um, I don't. Okay. Maybe without that little neck tie thing, it would have looked good. Um, I don't like this. But I'm pretty sure, I don't know. It just looks like she doesn't care. Well, maybe if she does care. Maybe, that's just, excuse me, that's just her style. But I don't like this. At all. Maybe, I don't know how you could have fixed this. I don't. I just don't like the... Like the the fabric that it looks like, it just looks like 
cheap or like they just threw it on like she was maybe without the neck thing like I said it seems like she was walking out the room and they was like hey wait put this on and she just put it on and went out the room so I think this is a miss for me I don't like that next Melissa McCartney um I like it I think I like it it's real plain it's real simple but I mean I like it for her I like the drapes I like the pants the high-waisted pants it's a little I like it it's a hit for me I like it for her there we go I like it for her Jimma Chan I, I like this I think it kind of seems like a like a um like a puffy jacket she puts on deflated it and then put it on around her neck but I don't know I feel like she's wearing it I don't I don't I can't really tell if it's a hit or a miss but she's wearing it she looks confident in it so that's all that matters I guess so all right next we have Casey Musgraves I love this for her I can't why do I keep saying for her but I love it I like the it is a lot of fabric but I really like this and I like the belt the crystal belt that's around her waist um I feel like Maybe I could have did without the ruffles on her shoulders. Maybe if she didn't have the ruffles around her shoulders, because she already has so much going on around the skirt area, that it would have been perfect. But I like the dress. I mean, it's not bad. It's not horrible. It's not like, ugh, up chuck. But I, re I like it. It's just a lot going on. But like I said, if I feel like if the ruffles weren't on the shoulders, it would be perfect. But I like it. Angela Bassett. She cannot do no wrong for me. It's not up for debate. It's not up for... Uh, argument she I loved her I love her I love everything she does she always dresses so classy um she never was well, I have seen her in some revealing stuff but not revealing that I mean other people may have worn so I love her she did not wrong that's a hit for me um Casey Musgrave Musgr that was a hit for me other than the shoulder um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching hope you liked this video my first ever fashion review that I did um, like, comment, and subscribe, whatever you want to see. If you want to see these more often, please like. Um, I would like to know. And comment what you didn't like and what you did like. And let's talk about it. Um, if you disagree with something I like, let me know. You know, we can have a discussion about it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you so much. Remember to be you, be true, be kind, and be a tenderoni.